American Automotive Association is predicting very limited growth this summer in tourism and nothing like the big travel crowds of a few years ago. The slowly recovering economy is being blamed for this. But adding to the problem may be this. Many Americans can't leave their jobs for even a few days and others won't. Tom Foreman has this week's American Journey. As beaches, resorts, and theme parks brace for the summer rush, they can count a quarter of all Americans out of the mix. That's how many receive no paid vacation in a study by the Center for Economic and Policy Research. And the lower your wages, the less likely time off is in your plans, according to John Schmidt. Many Americans get vacations. We do. Uh, but we get a lot less than everybody else. The, the average American gets less than the minimum uh, required vacation in every other country that we looked at. They looked at places like Japan with 10 days, Germany with 24, and France with 30. What's more, a study last year found more than half of Americans who do get vacation time don't use all of it, often for fear of appearing lazy or being laid off. I think what it is is that we have a much higher level of job insecurity in this country than in the rest of the world. It has not always been this way. The growth of the car culture in the 1950s fueled the idea that regular folks, not just the rich, should get away from the grind now and then. How would you feel if you were me? And for several decades, the family vacation was as American as, well, America. A vacation on a farm. Have you ever thought of this? Certainly some believe the country's work ethic is precisely what made the economy great, and now would be the worst time for vacation fever to sweep in. But others? So are you going to take a vacation? I am going to take a few weeks off in July. Others suggest rebuilding the economy might need to start with more folks recharging their batteries. Tom Foreman, CNN, Washington. Tom, thanks so much. Stay with us, Anderson.